And this is how you demolish your steak. But I'm not done. What's going on Cordell Crew? It's Travel Cordell and I'm back once again with another video. Today, I was hungry y'all, so I had to stop and give me some Longhorn Steak House. So I got the Longhorn, the 22 ounce steak y'all. I got the sauteed onions and mushrooms on top. I got the Steakhouse Mac and Cheese. I got some grilled asparagus. And these are like chicken wraps or something like that. So I'm gonna try to give a little thumbnail. Well, I hope I don't waste it. <laughs> I hope I got something. Now y'all know a good steak don't need no sauce, but I love Heinz 57. And then the chicken wraps came with some kind of dipping sauce. Mmm. Oh, good. Mmm. This is so good. Mm. They're mac and cheese, they're like bacon or something, you know? Mm. So of course, I'm trying everything before the steak. So I got my steak medium rare. Judge me all y'all want. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yep. This is good. Mm. They cooked it on a wood fire grill to give like that charry taste. So y'all, my topic today, <clears throat> I want to talk about my family. Um, my mom has three kids, my older sister, me the middle, and my younger sister. And of course, Draco, stop! He don't know how to act, y'all. And, you know, of course, it's hard for her being a single mother, raising three kids. Especially one of them being a boy, because she has to teach me things that she may not really know about. Because she's not a man. You know. So... And people told her what she couldn't do, what her kids wouldn't do. Guess what? She raised some strong individuals, some talented individuals, y'all, some smart individuals. My older sister went to college, got her bachelor's. Went right back and got her master's. That was her first. That was my mom's first child to do it. And I followed right in her footsteps a few years later. Went to college, got my bachelor's. And there was no people who thought I wasn't going to do it. Because y'all went high school. I was a fool. <clears throat> I was boo-boo the fool. I didn't care about my grades. I didn't care about my future, none of that. I wanted to play. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to do what the cool kids are doing. None of that, none of that, none of that. 
But I woke up and actually seeing my older sister help me. And like I said, a few years later, follow right in her footsteps when they got my bachelor. She got her um her bachelor's and her master's from Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, Illinois. You know me, I had to get away. Come down south. So I went to the illustrious Clark Atlanta University. Got my bachelor's, radio, TV, and film. After that, I started to pursue my master's. And a lot of people ask me what my greatest accomplishment in life. Graduating college is one of them. Because, and the thing is, y'all, I didn't even do it for me. Woohoo, it's great. I got my bachelor's. I'm real happy. Mm -mm. That moment for my mom. Sure was. That was for. Y'all got some on my shirt already, and I got on white. Like I said, that moment was for my mom. That moment was for a big look at what my kids are doing to everybody that said her kids couldn't or told her that she wasn't doing good or she wasn't doing right. All the time she struggled. <clears throat> that was for her. And I know that sounds cliche, y'all, whatever. But I mean it. That was Google Star. And my sister following in both of our footsteps. Next month, she's about to graduate high school. She's actually going on prom this week. Um, I'm not sure when y'all are going to get this video, but I'm actually going to Chicago in a few days to see my little sister go off to prom. So, kudos to her. But even bigger kudos to my mom for having three who did something big. Because graduating high school is big. A lot of kids don't do it these days. Um, I can learn her, I'm happy for her. And once again, she's following in our footsteps. She's going to college. Now, it was a headache trying to get her to pick a college. But she picked one unless that's all that matters. Now by me being a product of HBCU, you know, of course I you know I hit it with all the HBCUs down south like no, come on down here. You ain't even got to come to Atlanta. Go to Louisiana. Go to Texas. Mississippi. Um, but. Mm-mm. She ain't doing it, y'all. She's standing right up there in Illinois. But she is going to school nonetheless. And y'all yeah, make cheese so good. Y'all want a bite? Yeah, a bite. I hope I don't drop it. There you go. Take a bite.
um, yeah. So. That's a message I want to send to <clears throat> to the young people. The world is bigger than just you. And sometimes you ain't doing it for just yourself. You're not living for just yourself. And I know that must be, like, it got to be a hard pill to swallow because it was hard for me to swallow it. Look. Yeah, I'm trying to be classy and eat with this fork. But y'all going to see when I get down to the nitty gritty, that fork going to go bye-bye and I'll pick that steak up with my hand. Y'all know one thing I don't know how to do. I just started like learning how to use knives. So up until probably age 25 maybe whenever I would go out to breakfast with my family I would pick up the pancake or waffle and I would rip it like this then in order to probably would not and my mom would be so embarrassed Y'all, I love mushrooms and onions, like, I just sit here and eat mushrooms and onions the whole time. But I love asparagus, too. Y'all see this one time I like when you get close to the bone. And a knife wanna get on your nerve. I know y'all hit Draco. And a lot of y'all asked me to bring him on camera. Y'all promise I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start vlogging soon. Maybe that's not bringing more camera. This is all the time I y'all get down to the nitty gritty. I'm sorry. Mm. But <clears throat> I was all let me know. Y'all greatest accomplishment in life. And why is it your greatest? Like, what did it mean to you? Like, we all do stuff for different reasons. What was your reason in doing what you did? Mm. Mm. Y'all, <laughs> so... I told my sister I was gonna do this video and um, you know kind of talk about how we were raised before I could even explain myself she she wasn't having it she said uh-uh approve it by me first I don't know what you're gonna say y'all y'all see how I'm cutting this I cut crazy This is why I like medium rare, y'all. Mm. Hope y'all was able to see it. Mm. It is so tender and juicy. Even though they put it on a grill, it's not dry. It's 
great. They're great. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all feel like I ain't talking that much, but y'all know I know me talk a lot, but I was hungry. <clears throat> this is how you demolish your steak, but I'm not done. Pretty sure I just shoot the bone. Mm. Found it. Might as well finish. That's how you demolish a steak in almost 15 minutes. I don't play no games. Anywho, as always, it was nice kicking with y'all. Thank you for watching me. Continue to share my channel, y'all. Share my content. Let everybody know what I'm doing over here. Let them know I got some good stuff coming for y'all because I really do. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. And next time y'all see me, my hair is going to be cut to my barber's out of town. But he's back, and I'm so happy. Um, yeah. So, like, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you don't like. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you don't want to see. Let me, let me know what you want me to eat. Hell, just let me know something. So I know something. All feedback is good feedback because it'll help me grow. Whether it's good feedback or bad feedback. I don't care. I take constructive criticism very well. Most of the times. You might catch me slip a little bit. But anyway, I love y'all, Cordell Crew. I got Got some good stuff coming for y'all. I want to tell y'all so bad, but it's still in the early stages. But anyway, if any of y'all are going to be in Chicago this week or this weekend, hit me up. My social media is in the description box below. My Facebook, my Twitter, Snapchat, and my Instagram. I check all of them every day. Let me know if you're in Chicago and you want to hang out, you want to meet. I like to kick it. So on that note, until next time, peace.